let's install the Bootstrap theme. Scroll down, copy the link here, back to our Drupal site, go to Appearance, Install New Theme, paste it here, click Install. Let's enable the theme. Scroll down. Now here is the new theme you installed. Let's enable and set as default. Great. Let's go to front page and take a look. Great. Now your site is using the bootstrap theme. Let's go back to the theme. Appearance. Settings. Now there's a notice up here. It says that jQuery update is not enabled. And Bootstrap requires a minimum jQuery version of 1.7 or higher. So we actually recommend you to use jQuery update module to increase the version. So let's uh, install this module. Open your new tab. Let's install the module. Scroll down. Copy the link. Back to our site. Go to modules. Install new module, paste it here, and install. Let's enable the module. Scroll down. Let's look for jQuery update. Now let's and turn this on. Save the configuration. So let's go to configuration page. Press Alt D and type jQuery. Press enter. Now the default version is 1.10. It's fine, we will keep that. Since we are using 7 theme as our admin theme, so let's increase the jQuery to a higher version so that it will run smoothly, especially on the views for some bootstrap components or functions at the back end. Now the current 7 theme is using 1.4, that's the Drupal core. Click on configure. Now here we'll choose 1.7. Save the configuration. You may want to adjust this version again if you encounter problems at the back end or front end. Now, it's not uncommon to switching the jQuery version for some situations. Now, let's save the configuration. Great. Let's go back to Appearance again. Settings. Now, you will see the message gone. So, let's continue. Under Components, there's breadcrumbs, but you can configure here, but I think it's not much. For navbar, we'll go through this later. Now for region wells, you can enable for different regions. Basically just to add a well class where it gives a padding and rounded corners to the region. You can check it out on the documentation here. Let's open a new link. Now that's how it looks like. You have large well as well. Now back to our Drupal site. Now by default, it's actually applied to the primary region you can see here. It's actually your left sidebar. Let's try to assign to content region this time maybe. Let's give it a large one. Scroll down and save. Let's go to the front page and take a look. So you can see the content region has well styling with a color background, padding and rounded corners, right? It looks nice also. Now back to the settings, appearance, settings. Let's go to JavaScript. So there are settings for angles, popovers, and two tips as well. Now we can configure here for the default setting. I think it's quite straightforward. There are settings where you can configure like placement or trigger. Try it out yourself. Let's go up again. Now go to advanced, bootstrap CDN. Now we are linking to the bootstrap files via the CDN. That's our default setup. You can disable it and include your own bootstrap files if you like. We'll go through this together later. Now there's also bootstrap theme you can choose here. Let's try Cosmos. Scroll down. Now as you choose the theme, 
you can see right away the design here. What about other theme? Let's try Cerulean maybe. I think this looks nice. Okay, let's try this out. Scroll down and save. Let's go to the front page. That's great. It looks nice too. Now take note that if you disable the bootstrap CDN, this boots watch will not work. You need to make it work in another way. Alright? So that's all for now. Let's proceed to the next.